Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes with a picture like this, you've got leading lines which draw the eye into the distance, you know, and what you'd like to do is to make those grab the eye even more by lightening them up. So here's an easy way to do it. Click on the background there, then hit Ctrl J to duplicate it. Turn off the layer underneath because we're going to make the top layer transparent. Click on the blend ranges there, the cog wheel, and now we're going to use this. And uh, the, you can use the left hand graph because we're editing a pixel layer. And this goes from up and down, from transparent to fully opaque, and left to right goes from black to white. So I pull down this side, and you're going to get the darks disappearing. Drag it across, and all you're going to get left is the other lighter elements. So you can do that until you're getting your roads in here. You'd like to include the river as well, maybe. So add a bit more here. Click just on the line to add a point. Don't worry, but you haven't got it all selected. But that will kind of do. You can try the, taking the linear off as well. Maybe that will help, maybe not. No, I'll leave it out there like that. OK. Now then, but we've still got a bunch of other stuff we don't want. So what we're going to do is going to put a mask on this. Click on that for the mask layer. So open that so we can see it. Now we need to paint in black. So I go to a paintbrush, go to black, 100%. Hardness, um, maybe around 20. OK. So now we can paint away the things we don't want in this. There's clearly this kind of stuff. We just want the roads, really. So using a big brush, do the main areas. Then make the brush smaller, left square bracket, to paint in the things that you're not so happy about. Don't want those here. And if you're not sure what you're painting here, you can always put on the bottom layer again here. And because you've still got the mask selected, you can paint on these here to take them out. OK, so what we need, you can always come back and remask that again if you want to. Now then, we want to make things light up. So all we do is change the background layer here from normal to screen. There you go. That's lightened that up a bit. Now, if necessary, we can go back to the mask and say, let's take out some of this stuff here. Yeah, this has obviously got a bit too light here. Got other odd bits you might can go around and and tidy up. I want that sort of stuff over there, and so on. Just a little bit of you know, factories or an airport or something. You want to focus on the roads. Okay, so there we go. That's it. You can add more, you know, tidy ups and so on. But we can go from there to there and back again. Just one more tip. Well, something else you can do, which is if you want to make it lighter still which is you can go to adjustments, go to levels. And now just pull down the white level. And those roads will get lighter still. And also within here, you might see some other things appearing. If you go all the way, you can look at the, the effect here. So these are the areas which are not masked. So you could even use this if you wanted to click on the mask with a paintbrush and paint those areas away, but you won't see them when you've got a normal thing. So you can go into all this and go in and do all the real detail on it, but then bring the levels, the white level there, back to something. So you're just tweaking it down a bit, just to lighten it up a bit if you want to use it. Anyway, there you go. Before, after, lightened up those leading lines. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.